Okay, to understand how a temperature sensor works inside the board, we're going to use a small sample diagram. This is a simple diagram that many boards use, but there are more complex ones, and we'll be seeing some of them live soon. So, how does a temperature sensor work in a diagram? What the microprocessor, actually, the integrated circuit, will feel is a voltage variation depending on the resistance of that sensor. In the sample circuit, this represents the NTC, the thermistor or temperature sensor or NTC variable resistance. So, as this temperature varies, the resistance varies and the resulting voltage that enters the integrated circuit is different. 5 volts positive are injected directly into the sensor and the negative is injected. This is the GND, the negative, through a precision resistor. It is not a common resistor. And through it, a voltage of equalization is reached and the resulting voltage goes to the integrated circuit. As a result, as this resistance varies, the voltage that enters the microprocessor also varies. If we inject 5 volts into the sensor, approximately 2.3 to 2.8 volts will be injected into that integrated circuit, and through this variation, it understands what temperature it is. Of course, it understands it in a much more accurate way, 2.340, 2.560, we talk in the range of millivolts, so the microprocessor understands it. Something that is not drawn in this diagram, which you will generally find, is a capacitor that is placed between the negative and the positive. Any error in the tracks, capacitors, or resistors in the temperature measurement circuit can cause the integrated circuit to mark a sensor error. Even if the sensor is in good condition, that is why it is important to pay attention to that detail, as it may be that it shows us a temperature error or a temperature sensor error, but that the problem is not the sensor itself. That is why technicians often replace the sensor, but continue to have problems, because in reality there is another problem inside the board. Of course, for that they need to have a little knowledge of electronics to identify it and solve it. Well, this is a normal circuit. Let's see then this same thing, but on an electronic board. 